In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the PaperMind Cosmo Airlight Twin Ring Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. I wanted to talk briefly about why I decided to make this twin ring notebook. I really like spiral notebooks and the twin ring notebook is just a more durable version of that. But I like spiral notebooks a lot for more casual type writing. They fold, you know, over completely, so they take up half the amount of space on the desk. They're really convenient. I made all of the pages perforated so that they're easy to take out. I chose the Cosmo Airlight 92 GSM paper for two reasons. The first is that when the paper is perforated, it's nice to have that little extra weight there and the perforations in this they come out really easily you don't have to fold at the perforation mark it's not going to tear out of the the rings they just come out really nice and clean so i'm really happy with that but that added paperweight just makes it a little bit more easier and then when you have the loose sheet that you've pulled out it's just a little bit more substantial when it comes to writing performance there really is no benefit that i can see versus the 83 GSM version that I have in my PaperMind Cosmo Airlight hardcover notebook. I'm seeing pretty close to the same amount of ghosting, which is quite minimal, and the pens all perform super nice on both. They can't really tell a difference. So really that weight was just to help with the perforations, but also that second reason was, you know, Cosmo Airlight is discontinued by the mill, so I figured let's also have a little bit of variety. We have the 83 and then we have the 92. Both are excellent. Now, another design choice that I made is we did 120 uh, pages, so 60 sheets. And the reason for that is once you start having a, a spiral, you have something that, especially when you're writing on this side that just it gets in the way at least for a right-handed person and then obviously for a left-handed person it's you know this is like a huge spiral notebook and when you have it open on the desk like this this side of the page is really uncomfortable to write on and i just wanted to make sure we could keep the rings as small as possible without being a hindrance to the book opening and closing just to kind of maximize comfort. And for me, uh, with this size, A5 size notebook, that 120 pages was pretty much perfect for just keeping these the size down um, a good amount. I also am offering these in seven millimeter rule, dot grid, and blank. So there's a lot of paper style choices to work with here. So I'm really excited about these. And we're gonna be doing a pre-order, which will be 15% off the retail price. I don't have that finalized retail price, but by the time that this video comes out, I will definitely have it up in the corner. I'm just waiting on final ocean freight numbers from Japan. So this is the PaperMind Cosmo Airlight Twin Ring Notebook. We have paper soft covers, 120 pages of 92 GSM Cosmo Airlight paper. It's very similar to what we have in the Cosmo Airlight hardcover notebook. I'll put a link to that up in the corner. That uses the 83 GSM version, so this is the 92. It's a bit thicker, but really in terms of pen performance, I don't see much. There's maybe a little bit less ghosting with this paper, and of course the hand feel is, you know, a little bit heavier just because of that added weight. Now it's A5 size, black twin ring binding here, and we're doing these. This one is a five millimeter dot grid, but we also have a ruled version and we'll have a blank version as well. Also in terms of colors, you know, we have this green, which is a, a Japanese paper board. And then we have this craft paper, which is I believe by Takeo. This is Hiwa. This is from Takeo. On the craft board one, we have a matte black foil instead of the normal silver foil that we, we typically use. And the craft board one is obviously it's a recycled product and it has these, you know, little inclusions that they call cheery in Japanese. And I think it just, it looks really cool. It gives maybe a little bit more depth to the, the notebook. And then finally, we, we have a black. This is GF Smith color plan. So it's actually the same material that we used for our blocker hardcover notebooks. However, the blockers are a hardcover and they have a buckram embossing, whereas this is just the natural paper finish. There's no embossing 
on it. This cover is made in England and the other two are made in Japan. Originally I was going to use the black from this line. They discontinued the black. So <laughs> there we are. Just uh, production headaches there, but it came out really, really good and I'm really happy with what we got. You know, I love GF Smith Color Plan. It's an excellent, excellent product. So opening up the notebook, we have perforations. They're all perforated, so it's very easy to tear out pages. We can tear out one now. Let me just clean this up a bit. You don't have to, you know, fold over the page along the perforation to get a clean perforation. You can just, you know, pretty much go for it. You know, you have to be somewhat careful, but I wanted to have a something that was really easy to take out, something that wouldn't rip out of the the rings instead. So really happy with the way that, that this came out. You know, some perforations will tear or in some notebooks, especially the, the spiral type ones like this, they'll just rip out and, and make a mess. So these come out quite nicely. Now in terms of paper performance, we have seen the 82 GSM version. So it's really gonna be very similar to that. There'll maybe be a little bit less ghosting. I will grab a test sheet and we can compare them. But for now, Pilot 6 millimeter, you know, looks flawless. The, of course with this, with Cosmo Air Light, there is some line spread. So your pens might look a, maybe almost a half a grade fatter on this paper because of that micro coated surface. So for me, for some of my, you know, finer pens like this Platinum Curidas, it's really uh, gives the pen almost a, a very luxurious kind of feel when you're writing on this paper. There is a, a little bit of feedback, but I would say overall there's a, a smooth kind of cushiony feeling to writing on this this paper. So Pilot 6mm looks really good. Pilot BB, you know, all the fountain pens came out really nicely and even all the, oh, really all the pens came out nice. <laughs> I don't have the com a complaint about any of the, the appearance of any of the pens on here. It gives a very smooth look to it. You get very good sheening with this paper as I've shown on some of the other other test that we did. Ink looks super nice on this paper. Now if we go to the back, we have basically no bleed through. You can see the Copic sketch just ever, ever so slightly trying to come through, but really nothing made it through. It definitely not completely. The Sharpie did fine. Pilot oil drawing pen, all of the, the other pens, there's zero bleed through here. So this is a really very nice paper to write on. Now let's do a comparison with the 83 GSM version. So here is some of the, the 83 GSM version. So if we turn the page over, maybe is that fair? I don't know. That, there's not a huge difference. I mean, obviously this, yeah, it's really, I can barely tell a difference. So performance wise, very similar. So what are my pros and cons for the Paper Mind Cosmo Air Light Twin Ring Notebook? Well, obviously I designed this, so I really like it. We have phenomenal paper and it's in a very convenient format with really good perforations. It's very comfortable to use and it's about half the price of my typical stitched notebooks. So you get a really premium paper for less money. In terms of cons, well, I'd like to have more colors for the covers. I'd like more variety in sizes, but really right now I just want to see what you guys think of these notebooks, get some feedback, want to know yeah, what you guys like, what you don't like, and from there we can start adding uh, more to the line. But I'm really excited about these. Do you guys like this notebook? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time. <laughs>